Hello again, YouTube. Uh, this will be my first RPG video day uh, video. And this is titled uh, Personal Player Backgrounds. And uh, what this video entails is an idea that I came across while reading one of the D&D uh, &D 4th edition Dragon magazines, I believe. Or it might, it might have been Dungeon, I'm not for sure anymore. But it's the concept of giving your players a personal hook into their backstory, something that ties directly uh, to the campaign world. It might not be directly involved with the current story, but it, it, it adds flavor, it adds spice, and um, to me it really captivates that personal, iconic story that a hero should have, something that really made them want to come out and adventure, just some secret aspect that you can draw upon as a DM and really throw out throughout the course of a game. Um, uh, the easiest thing I can d way to describe it is anybody who's played the Bioware game Dragon Age Origins, um, that first origin story where in the very beginning of the game your character goes through a unique uh, plot line and event before the actual campaign line for the rest of the game. And this origin story has uh, repercussions, I guess you could say, for the rest of the game. Um, so what what I have here is a list. I don't know how well it will show up. I'm going to attempt to put this on the camera. And uh, just a different list of all these different origins that at the character creation step that a player can add to their character background. Um, there are a few rules, and the rules are quite simple, and I'll read them to you. The backgrounds are first come, first serve. Two characters cannot have the same background. You also don't have to tell your fellow players the background that you've chosen, though sometimes it will be a little bit obvious. There are no restrictions to backgrounds. Let your imagination and character building savvy run wild. So, just to give you all a little taste of what it is, I'll just pick a couple um, of options from the list and uh, I'll read them to you and build a, a character for you real quick, a little quick backstory to give you an example of how this could play out and then an actual in-game scenario from the point of a DM. So let's just say, here we go, uh, Fall from Grace. Your family was once the wealthiest in the region, known throughout most of the world for the prospering business. You enjoyed a pleasant, pampered life where you were given anything you wanted. One day, all of this changed, and you found yourself living in a rundown home with your family and little money. Whenever people hear your last name, they laugh and mock you. As you grew up, you began to wonder what caused your family's fall from grace. So, this is obviously, you know, there's not a whole lot of detail added into this. You, you as the player, get to select uh, the rest of the details that you want to put in, but... You know, it immediately applies a character hook that you know the character wants to latch onto and um, discover what really happened. So let's let's just think about this for a second as a character. Let's say um, human human warrior or human fighter, depending on what system we're playing. Um, let's let's just say that uh, this character's name would be Dorian. First name from my mind, uh, Dorian is troubled by his family's history, wondering what has happened. Um, so Dorian has decided to adventure and join up with anybody um, in the area that his family has lived from or used to live at, and uh, he, he masks his last name when at all possible, doesn't tell anybody, so that way they don't automatically mock him. And he wants to set out and you know, regain his family's honor and figure out why did his family's business suddenly just crumble and he remembers his pampered life but he doesn't miss it as much as he thought he would as a child and he wants to figure out in if, what made his family fall from grace but on, on top of that is if there's anybody specifically involved he wants to get revenge and you know regain his family's honor so that's just a a brief um, idea for a character background and immediately what this does for the DM is now you know what the player wants. You know that this is something that the player will go out of their way for to try to fix, to try to solve, um, and you can create entire sessions around this that are, while not totally relevant to the current campaign, you can make them relevant. Perhaps um, while uncovering some kind of treasure 
uh, Dorian and the rest of his party open a treasure chest, and there inside the chest lies um, a family heirloom from Dorian's family, something that he would instantly recognize, family ring or parchment or book or crest of some kind, and Dorian would immediately know, oh, this was my family's, um, how did this get here, you know, maybe there's a link, and then you as the DM would set that up, you would have known that was why that was there, that there's some link between this treasure chest and who it belongs to and everything. And what this does is um, provides layers and layers to a story. And as Sean says in some of his videos, a great DM and a great story has layers. It's like an onion, uh, to quote a line from Shrek. Um, just, this is, I think this is a really great idea. If you're not really into building character backgrounds, but you want just a little flair added to your character, then pick up the character origin. Um, there's plenty of ideas. Think of iconic heroes. Um, I can give you a couple more examples real quick, and then let your own minds wander and create your own ideas. So I'll just run through a list real quick. There's Agent, The Ambassador, Brush with the Past, A Chosen, Devout, Explore, we already mentioned The Fall from Grace, Hexed, Last of the Order, Mercenary, Naturalist, Orphan, Seeker, and just the list can go on and on. Just I usually like to have 13 or 14 just in case, so that way players, if they have can fight over them, they have a backup if they want. But um, I'll leave it, the rest of it up to you, my fellow DMs and players, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and there will be plenty more to come through the rest of the day for RPG Community Day, and may the 4th be with you.